Hello and welcome back to Sir Assist. Adam here. Today I've got some under 23 Portuguese Premier League players to highlight today. We've got all the potential to succeed on the Sir Scoring Matrix. If you do like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Sir yet, there is a link in the description below if you did wish to get signed up today. Okay guys, as I say, today I'm going to be highlighting some under 23 player targets in the Portuguese Premier League. Some of these targets probably already quite popular with some of you watching today but some of them you're probably not that aware of and they do look to have some good potential in terms of the Surrey scoring matrix. So I'm going to be starting with the defenders then highlight some midfielders and finally forwards. Now this information is financial advice. So the place, first player I've gone for is Goncalo Inacio. Now I'm sure you guys are already aware of this guy is Playing fantastically well for Sporting. He is only 20 as well. He's generally played in the central of defence for Sporting. And if we look at some of his statistics, this game here where he's played 90 minutes, he had 5 interceptions and 5 tackles, which is brilliant for the double-doubles and triple-triples. He's also won 6 out of 10 ground duels and 100% of his aerial duels as well. And as you can see, he's got an absolutely fantastic high pass rate as well, including some really good accuracy numbers at 95, 92%. And in this game here, he played 90 minutes again. Two inceptions in this one. 100% of his aerial duels won again. And another fantastic high accuracy pass rate as well so as you can see these numbers are going to equal some fantastic points if we look at his scores on so rare over the last year we can see these points are equating to some fantastic numbers he's got a fantastic all-round score which is probably accumulated from his interceptions and tackles and his high pass numbers and pass accuracy so it looks a fantastic option for your so5 teams although he is going to set you back quite a lot judging by the prices on display here. Next defender I've gone for is Philippe Morato of Benfica. He's just 21. He generally plays in the central of defence for Benfica. Did get around 10 starts last season as well. And if we look at some of the games that he did play, so here he played 74 minutes in this game. He got two tackles in this game, five clearances as well. He also won 5 out of 6 ground jewels and 100% of his aerial jewels, which is fantastic. And his pass numbers look decent as well at 47 with 89% accuracy. Not only that, he also had a shot on target and a shot off target as well. In this game here, he played the full 90 minutes, had one in one tackle and one clearance. He also won 5 out of 6 ground jewels and 100% of his aerial jewels. So as you can see, he's winning almost all of his duels. He also had 62 accurate passes as well with 87% accuracy, which is fantastic. And in this game again, he also got a shot on target. He's also having a number of successful dribbles as well with three out of three in this match. So he's looking a really good prospect for Benfica. At the moment, his price is looking pretty good. That's because he's not a total first team regular just yet. And if we look at his scores as well, from the last year we can see some high numbers here. This is probably when he has started the games or get more minutes. And as we can see his all round score is also looking impressive from the stats that I've just highlighted. Another good defender is Jao Mario of Porto. 22. Doesn't turn 23 until January 2023. He played a lot of the games last season for Porto as well. But I'm really liking this guy. His stats are also stacking up. He's got five clearances, one tackle and one attack, two tackles in this. In got five clearances, one inception, two tackles in this game. Again, he's won a number of his duels in this match. He's also got some decent pass numbers as well for a player who plays on the left or right of defence. Generally the right of defence. As you can see, he's quite an attacking player. So he's got one key pass in this game as well. And he's also had one successful out of one. In this game he played 8 to 5 minutes. One inception, three tackles. Again, it won five out of eight aerial ground duels. And 38 accurate passes, which is looking good to me. And also, it's a good successful in terms of dribble rate. Price isn't looking too bad either for a young player playing for Porto. And he has under 23 eligibility until July 2024. Look at some of his numbers from last season. It is looking pretty good when he is getting those full minutes. Next up, we've got Pedro Porro of Sporting. 22. Had a fantastic season last season for Porto, starting 19 of the games. Very attacking player with players on the right of defence. Played 9 minutes in this game here, 27 accurate passes. Fantastic 4K 
key pass in this game. And he also had one shot on and five shots off. So he had six shots attempts on goal. His dribble rate is looking good as well. Four out of five successful. And he's also winning some ground duels and aerial duels as well. In this game here, which was a 4-0 win, he had 26 accurate passes, three key passes, which is brilliant. And he also had 50% accurate cross rate, which is good. And again, he's shown fantastic goal threat in this game as well with five shots attempted. Again, a really good number of dribbles, four out of six successful. And he's also won seven out of 12 ground jewels in this game. So as you can see, he's got the all-around numbers really to succeed on the survey scoring matrix. Now his price isn't looking too bad really for his statistics. And if we look at his scores, we can see some peak scores here as well. So he's looking a really good potential pickup for your SO5 teams. He was on loan from Man City, but Sporting have now actually purchased him for 8.5 million euros. So I do expect him to be a more consistent player for Sporting. So moving on to forwards now. I wasn't actually able to find any midfielders that fit the criteria that I was looking for, unfortunately. Did find some, but those didn't have any cards on survey as of yet, so didn't want to include them. But I have found some quality forwards and the first one is Goncalo Ramos of Benfica. 21, he started 17 of the games last season with an average of 55 minutes played. And he also scored 7 goals as well last season and got 1 assist. If we look at some of the stats during the games where he did play some more minutes, he played 86 games in this goal game and scored a goal in this one. He also had 1 shot on target, 1 shot off. 23 accurate passes as well. Won 6 out of 8 ground jewels as well, which is looking impressive. In this game here, he played 88 minutes. He had 1 shot on target, 1 shot off and 1 shot blocked. 34 passes in total, with 31 being accurate with 91% accuracy, which is really good for a forward. He also had 2 key passes in this game as well. So as you can see, he's shown some decent goal threat when he is playing. And he did score 7 goals last season. Which is impressive considering it wasn't a regular starter. His price going for around 88 is limited at the moment. His rare is going for around 500. If we look at some of his scores then. So we can see some really good scores. Especially towards the end of the season. Where he was getting some goals. And he also was getting some more regular minutes as well. As you can see in these games. Where he was playing 81 minutes. 90 minutes here as well. 79 minutes in this one. And 90 minutes in this one. So when he's getting the opportunities in the first team. The first team minutes. It looks like he is getting his chance. And bagging the goals for Benfica. So he does look another potential good prospect. Next player I've gone for is Evel Nielsen of Porto. 22 now. Again this is a player that a lot of you are probably aware of. He did start 25 of the games last season for Porto. And scored 14 goals. And also got four assists, which is absolutely fantastic. If we look at some of the stats then, so 90 minutes here, two goals in this game, three shots on target, two shots off, one shot blocked. That's absolutely fantastic goal threat. That's six shots on goal during this game. And in this 4 2 victory here, he's on the score sheet again. He played 80 minutes, two shots on goal, and one shot blocked. So again, as you can see, he's shown some fantastic goal threat, which probably is why he got those 14 goals last season. And if we look at some of his scores, we can see some really fantastic scores here for an under-23 forward. Looking really good. Doesn't have much of an all-round game, but if he's getting the goals, then this is going to equal the 60s and 70s scores. So looking, another decent option. And he's got under-23 eligibility until 2024. The final option then is Francisco Consau of Porto. Only 19, this guy. Now, he's not a first-team regular by any stretch of the imagination. He actually only got one start last season. But he's looking a really good prospect to me in terms of his goal threat and his pass numbers and key passes when he has got some game time. So I couldn't find many games where he has played the full 90 minutes just yet, but we have to remember he is only 19. But I did find some games where he did show some good numbers when he had played a decent amount of minutes. So in this game here where he's played 29 minutes, he actually scored in this game. He had one shot on target, one shot off. He also had a 50% dribble rate as well. And he had one shot that hit the woodwork. He also had 15 accurate passes, which is 94% accuracy. That is looking really good considering he only played 29 minutes. He also managed to chip in with a key pass in this game as well during those 29 minutes. This game here, he played a few more minutes in this match. 45 minutes here. He got an assist in this game. He had a shot off target. He had 21 accurate passes, which is 95% accuracy, 
Again, he's shown fantastic accuracy here in his passes and also getting a good number of passes as well. In this game, he only played 45 minutes, so this is really impressive for 45 minutes played. Not only that, he had four key passes in this match as well, which again is showing some really good creativity. Now in this game here, he played 76 minutes. He had 24 accurate passes again, which is again is good. One key pass, and he also had two shots on target in this match, one shot off. Not only that, he had five out of seven successful dribbles and nine out of 12 ground duels won. So as you can see, for a 19 year old, these statistics are looking really good. Get 25 appearances last season with an average of 20 minutes. So as you can see, Porter arguing in plenty of minutes to start progressing him as a footballer and getting those first team opportunities. At the moment, he is going for quite a high price really. £96 for his limited and 594 for his rare. So as you can see, this points out that a lot of people probably think the same that I do, that this guy is looking a good prospect. He does have under 23 eligibility as well until July 2027. For look at some of his scores then, so these are the scores where he's played a good amount of minutes and potentially scored as well. So he's got 75 in that game there. 67 in this game where he played 29, which is that game that I highlighted. He's also got 62 here in 33 minutes played and 60 in 3 minutes played. So I'm guessing here that he must have scored in this match. So as I say, he's looking another fantastic prospect. So as you can see, there's quite a few options there in the under 23 category. If you do like searching out those next big talents or buying some current talents for your under 23 squads. If you did like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link below to get 13 common cards and a free limited card after buying any 5 cards on auction. Also consider becoming a patron of Surrey Assist as well, where you're going to get regular scouting, written content on there. You also get the pre-season action as well and all the latest transfer news. Okay guys, thanks for watching as always and I'll see you again on the next video.